What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon walkthrough. I almost messed that up. Huh. Okay, so in our last episode, I believe this was like the last, last uh, tutorial video. Somewhat. We had to do a little Pokemon Snap kind of deal. Take on a captain, I think. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And now, I guess we're going to be ready for... Um, I guess we're going to be ready for a trial run or something like that because, well, in this game, there are no such thing as gym battles, just trials. And, uh, well, let's see. What else do we have to do right here? Uh, me being the curious mind that I am, I'm just going to be looking for stickers and all that crud because, yeah, we got five totem stickers in all that buckets and uh, we, we, we need more stuff. We need, we need free stuff. Um, let's see. Howley Police Station. Keep our roads safe. Careful riding Pokemon. You know, the one thing that has yet to happen, especially in Pokemon, that is, we haven't had uh, any kind of, uh, what was it called, uh, da, 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 you know, driving and all that crud. So let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about right here. Uh, I don't know how it is in other regions, but things are pretty peaceful here in Alola. If you do anything too bad, after all, you'll bring a Wrath of the Guardians uh, down upon you. Wow. Okay, so that right there is... Uh, that right there is kind of crazy, so let's see, there is something I need to do, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm back, baby. Okay, so let's go right ahead and, you know, feed our curious minds a little bit with uh, more roads and more areas that we need to actually see into before we even get to the next part of uh, this adventure, and I believe this is a shortcut, so yeah, we've already, yeah, we've already gone through this whole place right here. Um, let's see, what else is there to do here in a lowly town and all that crud? Nothing. Nothing except just looking around. And well, there is a there is a TM right there. Here is the marina, and eventually you'll be able to reach this part right here, guys. And uh, you know, sail away, sail away to the next station or the next area. And well, we're finding stickers all over the place. Look at that, pretty cool. And there's another sticker plus another item. So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. The ocean around Alula looks like it uh, looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great ferry system, you can get to the next island in no time, which is true. Very, very true. So let's go right ahead and move on to this part right here. And we're going to be finding ourselves a super potion, which is a step up from any kind of potion we have. And we got more totem stickers just to, I guess, help us out or something. Still don't get, I still don't get it. Uh, we need to grab that item, so let's go ahead and do that. Should be an opening right here somewhere, and there you are. Let's go right ahead and do this. Now I've seen other walkthrough people, uh, PokeTubers, uh, go through the whole thing in like one episode, and that was like maybe a two-hour episode and stuff. And look at that, we found ourselves a TM49, which is Echoed Voice, a very good move. Um, but like I was saying, guys, yeah, I don't really do that because there's going to be... It's a lot of content in one episode. And I will argue about it right here, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I will argue about it right here. That Yeah, they, the tutorials are a little too much in this, in this walkthrough. So, yeah. <laughs> it it kind of gets annoying at some point in time and all that stuff. So... Thankfully, we are done with it, and uh, now it is time for us to move on to the next place, hopefully. And there is another sticker right there. Look at that, we found ourselves eight totem stickers in all. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Yes, we need to heal our Pokemon because, well, we had a good battle in the last episode, and as we're slowly finding out, yeah, we need a team. We need a proper team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to the Pokemon Center. I'll be right back with you guys. All right, we're back, baby. And it is time for us to move on to the red flag right here. And it will be up north. And Lily's going to be like, oh, wait for me, Draven. Oh, look at this. Okay, so what do we get here? And that is Lily is looking for us, and she's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get so lost or get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to the first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern. I read something in the old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself, gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko." The people in Icky Town has said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, Draven? Q? Oh, look at that. Oh, well, we probably we will. 
Oh, yes! Please take these. They're called revives. If you use one on a Pokemon that has fainted, it will recover and feel a little bit better. Which I think we we grabbed one at some point earlier in this adventure. And, of course, Lily is uh, wishing us good luck. So, it is finally time to move on. And, well, would you look at this? The Kahuna. The Island Kahuna. Hala. He's like, there, Draven. I've got this ordinary, uh, ordinary creature calmed again for now. Want to try giving him a little pet again? That's the only way it gets used to you. Okay, so we got to grab the bull by its horns. And we're showing it. Uh, let's see. Poke it by its nose, touch its foot. No, okay, let's go with that. Okay, it wants to buck us. Doesn't secure. Okay, so. Not the nose. How about its forelegs? Are you serious? Okay, so. Grab it by a horn. She's literally grabbing it by the horns. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't even know that, guys. Maybe Old Toros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, it seems to be like Toros wants to stretch his legs on his, uh, in his own island challenge. <laughs> okay. And it is running away. What? You want to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, my friend. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so it is time, guys, to move on into the next uh, portion of this island right here. As you guys can see, we are in Route 2, and we are going to start seeing some Pokemon. Now, this guy right here is going to show you this. Careful out here, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way grass, the grass shakes at Route 2? That rushing, uh, rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer to uh, target. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Hmm, that is true. So, let's see what this is all about right here. A little bit of a taste of this whole dealio, and here we are getting attacked. And what we have right now is a an Ekans. Oh wow! Okay, we can we can get an Ekans. We can capture it and you know make it our own and all that stuff. You know Ekans is spelled snake backwards. <laughs> I'm just playing. We already know that. Okay, alrighty, so let's go with the Fire Fang. We learned that in the last episode. And that right there takes a huge chunk out of this Pokemon. Now, here comes a Rap Attack. Now, if this was Generation 1, this would have sucked. And, well, it's not taking a lot, but it's still hurting us. Let's go right ahead and do another Fire Fang Attack for the win. That's right, feel the fangs. And here comes a Leer Attack. You know, you could still, you could still, uh, what was it called, um, gain experience points while capturing these Pokemon. And I hardly capture any Pokemon in any of my walkthroughs, so let's go right ahead and capture this guy. Look at that. Oh, yes. There we go. Stay in the ball. I'm throwing out the peace sign early on. Yeah. Peace sign. That's right. I caught Snake. I'm playing. Okay, so we have captured this Pokemon, and what it looks like from here is that uh, it is going to be going into the Pokedex, and from there, look at that. Ekans. And, well, let's see. We got 4% of these Pokemon, and the eggs of a bird Pokemon are its favorite food. It swallows eggs whole, so sometimes an egg gets stuck and the Ekans faints. Loki, it dies. And we're not giving this Pokemon a nickname. We are going to... I guess brush up on our Pokemon right here. So let's see this one. Yes, remember these. This this brings up the affection of the Pokemon right here. So there you go. Look at that. Oh yes, and right here. Here we go. And look at that. This Pokemon will love us. We're not giving it any beans because it's gonna toot. And uh, yeah, you don't want that. Okay, so we got that Pokemon, and no item. Hmm. Okay, it was worth a try. And, you know, it never hurts to find new Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. And from what it looks like, we got ourselves a young Donald Trump right here. A young goose. And... Well... Yeah, that's right away. We, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. No, we don't. Okay, alrighty. And we have a Pokemon battle waiting for us. As you guys can see, the shadows on the top and the bottom looking at us and well let's go ahead and uh, give Zerlina a little bit of HP back and here we go we're gonna start battling alrighty welcome trial goer think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty all right a beauty 
Here it is. We are taking on a beauty. Nice and tan blonde. Her name is Crystal with a K. With a K. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Well, she's coming out with a cutie fly. I think we have the, the advantage right here, right? I think we do. It's been a while, guys. So, let's go right ahead. Zerlina. Let's go with the fire fang. And... Yes. I like that sound because that means it's effective. <laughs> wow. Okay. And, well, we have defeated Crystal with a K. And, well, let's see. What is next? That was an easy victory. Let's move on to the next the next uh, part right here, going uphill. Now, if you guys can tell, there are big boulders and mega powerful Pokemon can break through them. Eventually, we're going to we're gonna find out what mega po powerful Pokemon we can break through. And, wow, there are a lot of things that we can do. So let's go ahead and start battling and taking advantage, advantage of all this stuff right here. Preschooler Pistons, full power! Pistons. Okay, so here it is. We are taking on a Preschooler Dylan. Dylan! We're gonna see what we can do. And it, Dylan is coming out with a Drifloon. Flying and Ghost Type, I believe. And, uh, well, let's see. I think a lick attack would actually work. Let's see. Yes, it does, because it is a super effective. And here comes a Constrict attack. Don't know why that will actually do anything. So, here we go again. Lick attack. And there you go. Lick again. Drift Loom. With its aftermath effect, it will actually hit you back. And, well... Slowpoke grows to level 9. And it's trying to learn Water Gun. So, this is a... This is, this is a plus for us uh, if we're planning on using Slowpoke at some point. And Magneto grows to level 10. Look at that. Okay, so the team is growing, even though the majority of these Pokemon we're not going to be using. And, well, again, this Pokemon keeps on tangling itself. This, this must be how you maintain cats. I, yeah, I don't. I'm not much of a cat person. I really am not, but, yeah, not much of a cat person. I am sorry, Zerlina. <laughs> Anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. And, well, we're going to be going uphill. And I do see a sticker, so let's go ahead and grab that sticker first. And here we have another totem sticker. It is nine. And, well, let's see what we can find right here. An item. And here we found ourselves a heal ball, which, if you capture a Pokemon with it, it will automatically heal the Pokemon right after capturing it. Talk to this old lady, and she's like, many, trainer vi many trainers visit our cemetery where Pokemon rests to pay respects. I think that's another adventure right here to go, and this is the Haoli Cemetery. Ahead lies our cemetery within lies eternity. That kind of sounds spooky, even though Halloween just passed. And, well, as you guys can see, there are quite a few items that you can grab. Let's go ahead and grab this. A paralysis heal is always going to work. Let's go. Let's do it. When I come to the Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. Yeah, cemeteries and all that stuff. That's what happens. Okay, so here we have office worker Jeremy. And he is going to be coming out with his Picky Peck. This looks like a job for an electric type Pokemon, not Zerlina. Hmm. I think it's time to switch out Pokemon at some point. And here we go, Zerlina with a Fire Fang attack. For the win, and there goes Picky Peck. Picky Peck's not looking good, and Aaliyah grows to level 13 and is learning Nasty Plot. What does this do? User stimulates its brain by thinking bad thoughts of this sharply racist. Okay, special attack. Huh. Let's go with that one. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that, guys. And, well, there goes a Nasty Plot, and Worker, the Worker has lost, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue on right here. Let's see. There are quite a few items that you can grab into the cemetery. And there are quite a few Pokemon you can find. I am thinking maybe we should find a Pokemon and capture it. Could be beneficial. And well, would you look at that? We found ourselves a Drift Bloom. This Pokemon right here is a very rare... It's, it's a rare Pokemon back in... Uh, what was it called? In Sinnoh. And just like that, we are going to capture it. Yeah. Alright, I like the way how you're like minimizing yourself, but I'm going to throw a Pokeball at you because uh, I need to extend the collection just a little bit. 
There we go. That's one. Two. Throwing out the peace sign. Yeah. I captured Pokemon for a living right there. There you go. And there you go, guys. Capturing another Pokemon. And Zerlina is our lucky charm right now. And Drift Bloom. Here we go. And this is Drift Bloom right here. Registered. And let's see what do you have. Okay, wandering souls gathered together to form this Pokemon when trying to make friends with children. Drifloom grabs them by the hand. Oh, this is scary. And uh, yeah, you do have the option to actually switch out Pokemon afterwards, so that's pretty cool right there. So, time limit's coming up. Let me switch it out right here in just a little bit, guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and well, we're going to be continuing our adventure, battling a farmer. She's stretching. She's like, I'll use the moves it was so good at. All right. Bring it on. So here we go. Taking on... Pokemon Breeder Ikuki. Ikui. I am so sorry for butchering the names and... Well, would you look at that. We're taking on a Pikachu. This is a... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is bad. Okay, so uh, we've got to switch out our Pokemon because we can't... We, yeah, we, we can't afford that. Um, let's go with uh, Zerlina. Yeah, we probably should have kept her there. Zerlina. Right there. And here comes a growl attack, which it's fine. Physical attack is okay, but we would prefer not to lose anything. So here we go. Ember attack for the win. And that takes quite a few. And here it's lowering our stats. You you do realize that at some point you're going to have to attack us with a Thundershock or something. So here we go. Thund or Ember attack. I don't know where I was at on that. And there you go. And Zerlina grows to level 15. And Aaliyah and everybody else growing levels. And Furfrau, without doing anything, grows to level 11, which is great. It's fantastic, guys. Okay. So I see off in the distance this. We found ourselves the TM100 Confide. And I do not know what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. Anywho, let's see. There are a few items. And grabbing this, we found ourselves another super potion. I hear a Drifloom. A Drifloom. And here we got ourselves a big mushroom. And time to battle another kid. And he's going to be like, Wee wee! It's a Pokemon battle. A battle! Okay. So, here it is. Taking on... Oh, preschooler Malia. 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 Hmm. Kind of sounds like a Leah a little bit. And here comes a Happini. This is the baby Pokemon of Chansey. I do have a chance on this with, with this Pokemon. So, let's see. Let's go with a nasty plot. Scratching. Yeah, it's thinking naughty thoughts right now. And, yep, it's increasing its attack. And here comes a copycat attack. That can't be good. Uh-oh. Okay, so <laughs> we're, in, we're in an even uh, play field. Let's go ahead and use Thundershock right here. And that right there... Oh, crap, Baskets. It's doing a copycat again. It's going to hit me with a Thundershock. Not so effective. That would have been messed up if it were, like, paralyzed my Pokemon, but we all know Electric doesn't paralyze Electric types, so... That, that would be in a messed up world. Or it would happen to me, you know. I'm, I'm just, you know very very lucky with electric like electric type pokemon and all that stuff so there you go another victory for us and well i think that's pretty much it right there guys i hope i'm not miss like i'm not missing anything so i'm gonna try and find a pokemon see if i can find something of a variety and well another drift loom <sighs> yeah. i mean i was kind of hoping for another pokemon I'm just saying. And yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna battle this Pokemon because that would be the worst thing that could ever happen to Leah. And well, let's try this one last time. Hopefully it will work out. And there we go. A Zubat. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're gonna try and capture this Pokemon. Hopefully Aaliyah doesn't make this Pokemon faint. Here we go. Thundershock! Well, at least we got some training out of it. 
Yeah, we, 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 we didn't intend to do that. Okay. Hmm. One more time. One more time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look at that. Ghastly. Whoa. Huh. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot about that. It's the Pokedex. Uh, here we have a Ghastly. Not the best looking Pokemon, but still a very serviceable Pokemon. And, well... There we go. And here comes a Hypnosis attack. And that will obviously put my Pokemon to sleep. And what we're going to do right now is throw a Great Ball at it because we can. I am staying true to the Generation 1 Pokemon because, well, those were the goats, you know. And throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to care for our Pokemon. And Aaliyah has grown to level 14. And what else? Well, Ghastly has been added to the Pokédex, and here we have Ghastly. Yeah, this Pokémon... Okay, so let's see what it's all about. So its poisonous gas comprises of 95% of its body. It's said that uh, the remaining five is made up of the souls who just died from the gas. Ooh. So, many of you guys already know, we're going to nickname this Pokémon because we've used them before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Smoke. That's right, Smoke. And yes, we're gonna be putting him on our team for you know the time being. So let's go ahead and add him to our party and take away Ekans because we do not need Ekans. And oh, uh, look at that, Leah's asleep. Okay, look at that, look at that. Wake up, Leah. Come on, wake up. Come on, don't be lame. Wake up. Aaliyah, wake up. There you go, right there on the noggin. Wake up. Look at you. Okay, so she's awake. Anywho, I'm going to fast forward to something because there's something else that I want to get. Okay, so we did not find that Pokemon. Uh, Aaliyah sort of kind of made it faint twice. So we're going to we're gonna wait off on that for just a little bit, and we're going to move on to the next section right here, and that is this whole area. Um, Let's see. We need to go into this house. See what it's all about. See if they give us free stuff. Because, you know, who lo who doesn't love free stuff? It's good for kids to experience their own journeys. But running away even without even a word to your parents is another thing entirely. I tried to set the bo that boy of mine straight. But when I did, I was the one who got beat. Okay, so which boy are we talking about right here? And we're going to go into this door. See what... Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so... Oh, wow. This guy... Is a champion somewhere. Probably. Maybe this is a... Let's see. Uh, let's see. Challenging Amulet. Clear. Okay. All right. Wait, 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 wait. No. I'm going to try and find some... Uh, yeah. Try and, st try and find some clues and all that stuff right there, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. Let us move on right here. And it would seem somebody has looked at us. And he's like, we're right by the sea. That's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. My craw my craw brawler is sure is something, isn't he? He nabs passerbys to bring them to me so I can send them by the, the bay. Though he's actually been a little too good at his job, so I have no vacant rooms for to offer you. But that doesn't mean that you've come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Okay. Probably gonna get some free stuff. Crawbrawler. Crawbrawler. I can't even pronounce that right. Crawbrawler. And, oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. See that? Look at the board expanse of the beach. It's called Big Wave Beach. There are something there. There are something uh, some interesting Pokemon to be found down on the beach. So I suggest having a look. And just so you know, the path to the beach was made by none other than yours truly. That's right, just me and my Craw Brawler. Huh. So that is actually a new place that you know has a has appeared before us, and that's pretty darn. That's pretty darn good because I remember in the original games there was nothing there. And here we are taking on Surfer Carlton from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And he will be coming out with his Della Bird. Look at that. And Aaliyah, let's go. Come on, Aaliyah, you gotta you gotta do something right here. Okay, so let's go. A Thunder Shock. And Yes. That almost defeats this Pokemon. Oh, come on, please, 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 please don't let it be. Ah, heals us. Okay, thank you. Alright, so. That's the benefit of having a Dillabird. 
And there you go. Delibird has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Get some more experience points. Magneto, without doing anything, grows to level level uh, 11. And it's learning Magnet Bomb, so let's go right ahead and take away the Tackle Attack. And just like that, Magneto learned Magnet Bomb. Smoke grows to level 7. Level 8. Learns Mean Look. And... Okay, this has been very, very, <laughs> very, very uh, productive. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's down there. This is not Oh, wow. Huh. This is brand new. Okay, so here we are in Big Wave Beach, guys. And from what it's looking like, it's looking like a... Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. Talk to her. Welcome to the BP shop. This is where you exchange beach points for rewards. Or wait, was it battle points? What did BP stand for anyway? Huh? Anyway, do you want to hand over some uh, hard-earned BP for a prize? Uh, not right now. I think this is the same thing, too. Let's see. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Do you want me to teach you Pokemon move? Okay, let's see what kind of moves does it learn. As you guys can see, we have none right now. And there are quite a few moves that you can actually learn. Oh, wow. Okay. Actually... Let's see what items does a uh, let's see what items this person actually sell. Okay, let's see. What kind of items? Oh, okay, so Wow. Rare candies are 48. Okay, never mind. So let's see. Talk to these people. There's gonna be that lady right there. She's like, hey little cousin, welcome to Big Wave Beach. You've uh, come exactly to the right place if you're looking for some Mantine Surf. Mantine Surf is just what it says on the box. You can climb up on the uh, back of a Mantine and you can surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across the ocean waves. Though youngsters like yourself who want to go into the Mantine Surf have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit dangerous sport to be fair. Come back when you're tough. Uh, you're as tough as a real kahuna. Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in the anticipation till you do. Wait, Mantine, do Mantine breathe? Can they even hold their breath? That is a good question. So unfortunately for us, we can't do anything. And Alola is famous for Mantine surfing. You can enjoy the... Okay. So, unfortunately right now, we can't do anything except just watch people just surf and all that stuff. This is a brand new feature to the whole the whole thing, uh, whole Alola. And how about you have a ride at uh, surf? Uh, okay. And it looks like there's a red flag here somewhere. Hmm, somewhere around here. It could be a red flag. I'm I'm just like I'm just a good little boy trying to. Oh, here we go. Talk to this guy. If you fall off during the Mantine Surf, don't worry. Pew, pew, me. Okay, yeah, the Pokemon will actually get us. And uh, let's see. Well, it seems Grunte. Oh wow. Here we go. So here we have Team Skull yet again trying to be. Big old buttheads. Oh, Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids just so you uh, are something. No, the real reason is... Yeah, the real reason is... Every time you try, you keep up those ridiculous dance moves. And on the Mantine's pack, and you end up in the water. <laughs> okay, so... Again, time limit's coming up, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. Three things happened. My big screen was running out of juice. My battery on my camera was running out of juice, and the time it was going on. So, yeah, always be prepared, guys. Always be prepared with all these kinds of things. Anywho, going back to this, uh, Grumpy is like, You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we've got. It, they're not very good dance moves. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Yeah, I can. Somebody please keep these numbskulls away from the Mantine. Okay. Edgar to the rescue. And uh, before we do anything, yeah, let's go ahead and be smart about this. We got to heal up our Pokemon. Every single one of our Pokemon because uh, we might need every single one of our Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. What else? What else can we do? Ah, I know. Let's go with this. Go with that. Switch to Lena for Aaliyah. And let's get it going. All right. Bring it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop you guys. And... What are you looking at, short stuff? <laughs> Wait, huh? 
You're that kid! You want to scrap Tiny Trainer? A battle, yo? You might beat us in Holy City, but we'll put our, our heads together and beat you this time. Oh, it's a double battle. Ooh. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Come on, please, please, please. Okay, so it's probably going to be a one on one. Yes, it is. And uh, alrighty. So here we are taking on a Team Skull Grunt. Hey, he's coming out with a Drowsy, so this. This should be quick work. Yes. Alrighty. Drowsy, the psychic type Pokemon. Time to get this Lick Attack right here. So here we go. Lick Attack. And that right there gives it a good hit. And here comes a Pound Attack. So let's go ahead and finish off this Pokemon with a Lick Attack. And just like that. Drowsy has been defeated. And of course, we need to care for our Pokemon right here. And... <laughs> Alrighty, so we got to care for our Pokemon right here, and I'm assuming it's the blow dryer. Okay, blow dry away. Got a blow drive. That's right. This Pokemon is nice and wet because, of course, it's battling in the puddles. It's a fire cat. Doesn't like water at all. So yeah, okay. If you want to be in, okay. If you want to toot, then you can toot toot. Here we go. You get a red one because you're red. There you go. Look at this Pokemon. Yeah, she's or yeah, she's loving me and all that crud. Okay. Time to move on to the next thing. Oh yeah, the next trainer right here. And seriously, Home Slice? You're too strong for a kid, yo. Huh. I've gotta go make someone else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess at Yuma again, B. I'm down with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close to by anyway. Hey you! You better listen to what my homie says. And drill it into the thick your skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget Numbskull. Okay. So, here we have the lady right here. She's like, nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer. Just like just like I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? And this is a fresh water, which are like potions. And she's like, I bet you can take uh, Captain Ema's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even Kahuna Hollow would probably say you're ready to take on all Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and you, we'll get you up to uh, up to uh, on a Mantine no, in no time. Okay, so we got the approval. That is uh, pretty awesome. I wonder what's here. Look at that. We're on top of the hill right here. And okay. Oh wow. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Mantine are really chill. They don't care if somebody's riding them or even a Pokemon in the Rimmery cling to them. Oh, okay. It's pretty cool. And I'm just wondering if there's like an item right here or something. Oh, there's a Pokemon right here. What's this? Pew, cue, mew, cue, 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 cue. Would you like to turn to the right, wave goodbye, stare at it? I'm going to stare at it. I'm going to stare at it because I can. And staring at Mew. Turn to the right. It is confused. I don't get this. And wants to play more with you. Okay. Play peekaboo. And. Okay. Okay. All right. Peekaboo. Oh, okay, so would you like to nah, okay we gotta wave we gotta wave goodbye. Okay, so that was that was an interesting dealio. And well let's talk to her. Everyone seems to be able or it seems able to pull off killer moves on the moment they climb on top of Mantine. Why don't they even even keep me as an instructor? Hmm. Okay, and we're gonna grab this, we get ourselves a white herb, and that I guess we'll conclude our little adventure right here. And, wow, more text messages because I am that popular. Okay. So, I think, yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it, uh, I think we're gonna call it an episode right here because in the next one I wanna make, I wanna make sure that I'm ready for, uh, for the challenge. So, we're gonna stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be going into the trial, defeating whatever is ahead of us. And, uh, yeah, hopefully more episodes to come on on a daily basis and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in Pokemon Ultra Moon. See you guys.